Hello everyone, my name is Jan Melisondra and today I'm gonna teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today I'm gonna paint like a tropi tropical uh, landscape. I'm gonna put a Nipa hot house there and also I'm gonna put some bamboos and uh, I don't know what will come out uh, for uh, today's tutorial so I will just do my best to make it as good as uh, I want it to be. Okay. And please don't forget to subscribe if you have been subscribed and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see there the five limited colors, the brushes that we're going to do and all the things that we're going to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now. And first, I'm going to do a little sketching uh, so that uh, I know where I'm going to put those subjects. So I have here the raw umber and the number three and the flat brush okay so here this will be my horizon there it will be a little bit of the bottom and here I'm gonna put my bamboos to be a big bamboo tree here on the right side I'm gonna put some trees there. I'm gonna put a house here. Yeah, just simple house, everyone. Nipa hot house. Something like that. And some field there. And yeah, I think it will be all like that. Okay, so here I'm gonna put also some forest. Some trees there. Okay, so I think that will be my plan. And I'm going to start now. I'm going to do the underpainting. I have here, uh, I think, 1.5 inch flat brush. So I have here the blue, the white. Sorry about that noise, everyone. Then some raw umber. A little bit of red and white. I'm gonna put a lot of white here in the sky part. Maybe I'm gonna make it much more lighter uh, later, everyone. I'm gonna put more white. And then using this uh, raw umber and the red. It's some blue. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. Here, let's put some forest. Yeah, I did more umber, everyone. I want to make the uh, this uh, background a little bit uh, grayish or something. So this is the second step, which is the underpainting. And then I'll try to use some yellow and the red, some orange. Oh, 
Okay, there, there you go. And then, also some raw umber here. Don't worry everyone, this is still the underpainting. I'm gonna put more orange here. I'm gonna put some red. Maybe somewhere yellow. You can do the strokes like that. To create the grass like effect. So some more umber here. And even here also. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna let it dry. So I think so it's still wet everyone so I'm gonna let it dry for at least five minutes and we can go back adding some more details okay everyone so I think the paint already right now and I'm going to start adding the details so I'm gonna start on this part everyone okay so I think I'm gonna fill with the white Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna use this brush, everyone. Uh, maybe I will fill every, uh, first the sky. Okay. I'll use this uh, big brush. I have here the white, a little bit of blue. And then red. A little bit ah, pinkish. You can put a little bit of uh, reddish something to look like an afternoon landscape. Just a uh, place of something like uh, a purple okay so sorry about the noise everyone because it's an afternoon here a lot of motorcycles and cars outside I'll just glaze there so I think uh, we can see now a little bit of the uh, sky I'm gonna put some white also. now next I'm going to add I'm going to add uh, the color of the forest so this will be a forest here 
so I will be using the blue and the blue umber and the red I'm gonna put a little bit of white more blue umber This one will be a darker part. You can use the tapping technique, everyone. So I'll put uh, some trees here of forest. You can use a tapping technique. Sorry about this uh, nice motorcycles in the background. a bit of white and then some more blue yeah here I'm gonna try to make it a uh, much more bluish something like that I'm gonna put a house here everyone okay so from there I'm gonna try to put now some some details so here I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put I assume that this will be a mountain forest like that. so I have here the yellow and the blue so I'm gonna put more blue everyone and then uh, white so you can use the tapping technique make it uh, much more bluish there and then more white just a tapping technique everyone You can see now a forest, a uh, little bit of uh, the back part. There, just tapping technique, everyone. Slowly. You can build up those uh, values of colors like that. 
sorry about those noises okay I don't know what happened to their motorcycles so. okay and then grab some white I want to make this field very visible white with a uh, yellow stone so this, this there will be a golden field here So as you can see now, my light source is uh, on the left side, from the left side. Okay, there. So, so it looks good. Actually. Okay, so and then I'll try to add some details on this uh, forest here. Yeah, I'll try to diversify those trees different with different uh, color of the leaves. So, First, I'm gonna try this a little bit orange. And then we can also put some uh, greens. So we're adding different types of leaves everyone. Uh, you can now see different types of it. That it has a uh, different uh, kinds of leaves there in the forest. So just like the forest, when you, when you go there, you can see a lot of different kinds of leaves. So that's uh, what we are doing here. Then you can also put some highlights, a little bit of yellowish. So just do the tapping technique. There. And then also some on the orange part. Our light source will be on the left side, everyone. So it's normal that uh, Okay, that's it. So you have now this simple uh, forest. 
a group of trees or something like that so as you can see there uh, it's uh, it, it's made up of a lot of uh, two or more kinds of, of trees so yeah we can now judge that this is a, a, a forest okay there and then you can put now the, the house okay in the center of this uh, field of this yellow field we will put first some so I'm gonna mix for an orange I'll try to uh, make a uh, try to build some golden field maybe this this will be a, a golden rice field who knows and I'm gonna put here the house in the center of the field I'll be using this brush everyone Okay, so I'm going to put now the house here. I'll be using this brush, number two nylon pot brush. So, blue umber and the white. will be the roof everyone I will paint first the roof something like that okay I'm gonna mix a little bit uh, darker this room for everyone for the dark part here blue and the raw umber I 
I will put the custard shot, everyone. There you go. This house is just so simple and and yet it will look realistic. I'm gonna put a uh, white now with a raw umber. No, 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 like that. A little bit of details on the here. Okay, I think that's just so simple everyone and it looks a uh, house now it's a nipa hot house okay so yeah that's it and now we will try to put some details surrounding this house I'll be using this uh, medium size flat brush and then some blue umber with a little bit of yellow Here, I will try to put uh, a path to everyone. I think a path will, ma will make it complete. Okay, and then I will try to put some grasses also. And even some uh, trees there on the sides. Blue umber and the blue, oh no, and the red, and a little bit of uh, blue and the red, I mean, sorry. Also put some trees here. Sounding that part. Just a dark color green everyone, or dark green. Just mix the the blue and the red and the umber. Yeah, that's also here. And then we can start now adding some some colors, okay? 
some details. So we can put na first some greenish color or a little bit of light green. Just tapping technique everyone. And then you can put also some some yellow green here. There you go. And even green, you can also put some green. Different types of can play with different types of green everyone then you can put now some some orange Don't overdo it. Let's remember that. There you go. Not just there, but also on the other side here. So put some some greens here. So just tapping technique everyone. I'll put some greens also here. This time uh, the leaves will be a little bit uh, bigger. Go. So, as you can see now, it almost looks like a, a complete landscape. Yeah, even like that, everyone, you can see that uh, it's already a beautiful landscape. And it's just very, very simple doing those simple strokes we can create like this. So, yeah, I like the perspective, so it's, uh, it's very, very nice. Okay. So I'll put now some leaves here, one by one leaves, something like that. Using this uh, brush everyone, I will mix for uh, greens. So uh, yeah, this one, uh, we can see that the leaves will be bigger. There you go.
can put some some uh, tree trunks okay and then we can put now a little bit uh, lighter uh, lighter greens And then I'm gonna put a little bit of some light uh, green. It will make it uh, like a shiny effect everyone of the leaves. There you go. So you can see now that this part, the leaves are bigger. Okay, so you can now differentiate within those uh, objects okay yeah I'll try to put now uh, a little bit of uh, tree trunk also on the distance There, as you can uh, see that there, there are tree trunks also. Okay. There, and then. I'll try to make the the road uh, brighter. So I have here the red and the yellow. put now uh, some 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 lighter color some highlights I mean there I think that will be enough okay see now that uh, some parts are lighter okay I can also put sh uh, cast it shadow later on okay so I'm gonna put now the the bamboo on the on the right side I have a lot of lace there okay so I will be using this small flat brush this 
blood press everyone I'm gonna mix for greens because the body of the bamboo are greens I'm gonna put a little bit of red to make the green darker There, just one strokes. Just dark green, everyone. Add more, everyone. put some branch the branches can be a smaller everyone Okay, and then we can put uh, the highlights now. I'm gonna just add white and the yellow. You can just do like that, everyone. Just a uh, curve uh, strokes everyone like that. 
and you can create a bamboo like textures so I'll add more extension on the on the It's okay, everyone. I uh, just have to cover some parts. It's not good. Yeah. There. Okay. And then I do the I'm gonna put some darks also, darker tones. Just a dark purple even will be enough. there okay yeah it's uh, dark now I'm gonna put some yellow to make it uh, green so I'm gonna mix I'm gonna use some more darker greens so we can put now some leaves like that one by one There you go. You're seeing the small flat brush, everyone. You can create those leaves. Uh, the leaves are like that. It's a, it's a, it's a long kind of leaves. There and also here we can put more but we need also to put some branches You can also use uh, the Bristol flat brush, everyone, to make the whole process uh, faster. A little bit of red, then yellow. You can just do like that first.
there. There, okay. Blue, red, and the yellow. Okay. Simple as that, you can create realistic uh, leaves. Sorry about this siren. There, so you can see now uh, a lot of leaves here. And then we need to refine that. We are gonna use this one, this uh, bigger. A smaller brush mm, the same color a little bit of darker greens and then we can do like that There, so everything now it's uh, becoming clearer and better. Looks like uh, leaves now. And then we will put now some highlights okay so here we will use the yellowish with a little bit of green and then red Just uh, go and just highlight everyone. Okay. Actually, we can use this smaller brush. This one, this uh, liner brush, everyone, you can use this one. I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter.
ठीक है So, actually, the good thing about uh, adding uh, using the small brush, everyone, because you can see uh, the smaller details uh, there. They are, these are the green type of uh, bamboo everyone but you can also see some yellow bamboos So it's uh, clear now. Okay. There you go, everyone. I'm almost done. Yeah, that looks good. I like this. I like the uh, this bamboo. Okay. And then I will try to add some highlights on the body of the bamboo. A little bit of uh, yellow greens.
there. We can also put some uh, brownie stones on the body part or a little bit of orange. leaves try to put on the bottom part on the on the ground some some dried leaves on the bottom part go then I'll try to put some crusted shadow here little bit of impressionistic because I like this kind of style everyone okay I'm almost done here I'll just uh, make it better done everyone and everything looks good I like the I like how simple it is and for just uh, one hour I finish this one and it looks good everyone it's very very simple and it looks really really good I like the entire landscape I like the result here I like also the crown and everything here so yeah I think I am very very satisfied with my painting today I hope you are happy also okay everyone so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors that's why I'm using limited colors of palette because I want you to learn to know how to mix and get the desired colors you want so please hit like and some comments subscribe for videos in the future Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God be sure. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.